Good morning, Dominic. Today is Thursday, April 23rd, 2020. I hope you enjoyed your Earth Day activities yesterday. Kind of gave you a break from normal day activities. So today is Thursday the 23rd, and that's where we're at on a calendar. Okay, I want you to get your book just to trim, and we're going to read it. Again, read this, the letters that you, or the letters, the words that you know. My hair is too long. I am scared to get a haircut. I just want a trim, I say. Snip, snip, some hair comes off. Shorter, please, I say. Snip, snip, some hair comes off. A little shorter, I say. Snip, snip, some hair comes off. Even shorter, I say. Snip, snip. Some hair comes off. Shorter than that, I say. Snip, snip. Some hair comes off. A bit shorter, I say. Snip, snip. All done. My short hair is fun. Okay, I want you to read that two or three times today. Okay. And I want you to get your little packet out. We did this page already. So we're on the second page of our packet. And it actually goes like that. Okay. All right, so we're going to talk about adjectives that compare. Okay. So it says, read the sentences aloud to students, have them circle a comparative adjective and underline two things that are being compared. All right, so I'm going to read the sentence, you find the, the adjective, and then you got to compare the things, okay? All right, so let's do number one. Her hair is longer than mine. Okay, so what is the adjective? Longer, excellent. And what is it comparing? Her hair, mine. So circle longer, underline her hair, mine, and underline mine as well. Number two, my school is bigger than my house. So what is the adjective? Where's the comparing adjective? Bigger, good, circle bigger. And what is it comparing? Good, my school, underline my school. My house, underline my house. So we're comparing my school and my house, and we're saying that my school is bigger. Okay? Number three, the cat is smaller than the dog. Where is the comparative adjective? Smaller, excellent, circle smaller. And what is it comparing? The cat, good, underline the cat. And we're comparing the cat with what? The dog, good, underline the dog. Number four, Mark is taller than Emily. Where is the comparative adjective? Taller, excellent, circle taller. And what are we comparing? Mark, good, underline Mark. And we're comparing Mark with what? Emily, under Emily, underline Emily. Good job. Number five, a car is faster than a bike. What is the comparative adjective? Faster, excellent, circle faster. And what are we comparing? A car, good, underline a car. A bike, good, we're comparing the car and the bike. So underline car, bike, and circle faster. Excellent, good job, Dominic. Okay, you can put that to the side. All right, next I need you to get a piece of paper and I need you to put your name on it, the date, and numbers one to 10. We're gonna take your spelling test. Numbers one to 10. If you need some extra time to get that ready, pause the video. 
All right, number one, long. She has long hair, long. Number two, snip. The barber's scissors went snip, snip, snip. Sound it out. Number three, off. She cut off her hair, off. Number four, that. That pencil is broken, that. Think about that shorter word that's in that, that, that word. Number five, bit. We cut a bit more hair off, bit. Number six, end. We are at the end of the story, end. Sound it out. Number seven, trim. She went to the barber shop to get a trim, trim. Number eight, say, I say, it's a nice day outside, say. Number nine, day, on which day are we going to order out some food, day. And number 10, pay. I am going to pay with my credit card. Pay. Okay. I need you to send me a picture of that. All right. So when you're all finished, send me a picture of that. All right. Sight words. Let's take a look at your sight words. Okay. Here are your new sight words for this week. I'll say, well, you say them with me. Okay. Say. Just. Off, snip, that, done, want. All right, I'm going to point to them. You say them. That, good job. Snip, excellent. Say, want, just, off, done. Good job, Dominic. All right, I want you to say your sight words, your stack of sight words two to three times today, okay? Um, next, we're going to work on English. So get your English book out and turn to page eight. We're gonna talk about, again, telling sentences. As you're finding the page, remember telling sentences are sentences that tell us something and they end with a period, okay? All right, so on page eight, it says, making telling sentences. Complete each telling sentence. Use the correct word from the word bank. Put a period at the end of the sentence. All right, so let's take a look at our word bank. I'm going to point to the words, and we're going to say them, and I'll say them. Opened, carry, fixed, rides, plays, lie, eight, Flew. All right, so we got to find a spot in these sentences for all these words. Let's look at number one. Carmen blank a bike. So what do you do on a bike? You probably like to do this. Rides. Excellent. So this one is rides. So on line one, you can see that that one's already done. Rides. So put R I D E. S rides. Number two, and you can cross off rides in your list of words up here. So cross off this word right here. Okay. Number two, snakes blank in the sun. What do they do in the sun? They lie in the sun. Good. So on the line, right? L I E, just like this one did. L I E. Okay. 
Number three, I blank my umbrella on rainy days. What do you do with an umbrella on rainy days? Carrie, excellent. So there's Carrie. So on the line, C, A, R, R, Y. Good job. And you can cross it off on your list. Oh, don't forget you need periods at the end of these sentences too. Number four, the spaceship blank to the moon. What does a, a spaceship do? It flies, right? So the spaceship flew, which is right here, F-L-E-W. So it should be on line four, F-L-E-W, and a period at the end. Number five, Devin blank baseball. Devin blank baseball. Plays. Good job. Plays. So there's plays and write it on the line. P L A Y S period. Plays. Six. Rudy blanked the door. What do you do to a door? You open it, right? So Rudy opened the door. There's opened. O P E N E D. And make sure there's a period at the end. Number seven. Dad blank a broken toy. Dad blank a broken, broken toy. So if it's broken, you have to do what? Yeah, so dad fixed, fixed a broken toy. So fixed, then she didn't really write it all. So down here, F, I, X, E, D, and put a period at the end. And the last one, the monkey blank a banana. So what's the monkey gonna do with the banana? The monkey ate the banana. So eight, A, T, E, should go on the line down here. All right, good job, Dominic. Let's go to page 15, commanding sentences. So we talked about telling sentences. They tell us something. Now let's talk about commanding sentences. Wait, that doesn't, oh wait, hang on, buddy. Let's just do page eight because my book jumps all the way to page 15. So we're going to skip around a little bit. And I don't know what not page nine looks like in your book. So let's just do page eight. And then next time when we get together, we're going to jump to page 15. We're going to skip some of those pages in your book. Okay. Sorry about that. Again, this is going to happen because we're using used books. Okay. All right. Let's go to phonics. Page 97, so phonics book, page 97. All right, so at the top it says, read the words in the box, write a word to finish each sentence. So let's take a look at this green box. You should be able to read some of these words, okay? You, for, like, down, are and do okay so now we got to find somewhere in these sentences a spot for these words min and tim blank playing in the sand min and tim are playing in the sand so are cross it off and it goes here a r e r number two min says what did i blank with my ring what did I do with my ring? So do is right here. So look at that word and write D-O on the line. And then you can cross that off. I will help look blank it, Tim says. I will help look you it. I will help look for it. Yeah, that makes sense. For, so F. O, R, 
and cross off four. Number number four. Min and Tim look blank in the sand. Min and Tim look you in the sand? No. Min and Tim look like in the sand? Min and Tim look down in the sand? Down, good. So here's down. D O W N. Down. And you can cross it off. Number five. This looks blank the ring, says Tim. Now we only have these two words left, you and like. This looks you the ring. This looks like the ring. Like the ring, yeah. So like. L I K E. Like. Now when you should know how to spell because we had that as a spelling word before. Number six. Tim blank are my friend, says Min. You are my friend. Why? O U. Okay, good job, Dominic. Let's go to page 98. All right, I'm going to go over the directions with you on this page, and then I'm going to have you take a picture of it and send it to me. All right, so it says write the letter to finish each word, then print the words on the lines. All right, so ignore this page here. Let me move this way. How about this way? We'll figure this out, Dominic, I swear. All right. So here are the words, okay? And you need to find them in this puzzle. So you have down, are, for, do, like, and you. And you gotta find a spot for them in these puzzles. And then on the lines, you need to write the words. So number one would be this word, number two is this word, three is this word, four is this word, five is this word, and six is this word, okay? Then at the bottom, put a check next to each word you can read. So look at these words down here and check them if you can read them. When you're done with this page, I want you to take a picture and send it to me. Okay? All right, so let's recap. You need to read your story two or three times. We took your spelling test, so you need to send me your spelling test. Make sure you read your sight words two or three times. Nothing for English. And send me vocab, or send me phonics, page 98. Okay? So the two things you're sending me are your test and phonics, page 98. The two things you're working on are reading your story two or three more times and saying your sight words two or three more times. Okay? All right, Dominic. Have a great day, buddy.